Okay, so I want to talk about inflammation, hypertension. I'll talk about high blood pressure. I want to talk about more chronic ways. Uh, when, when hypertension sets in chronically, one of the driving forces of chronic hypertension is uh, reactive oxygen species, is uh, oxidative damage, oxidative stress. And so uh, what's going to be able to remove that is antioxidants. And, but you guys know, I'm always telling everybody on here that when you talk about antioxidants from, from plants, it's very, uh, it's very, conflated it's thrown in, in, uh, in on a pedestal that it doesn't belong antioxidants from plants are not not as beneficial as we want them to be uh first of all the brewing process or the drying process of a plant is going to destroy antioxidants the brewing process of a plant is going to destroy antioxidants your digestive tract is going to destroy antioxidants and there and and then the absorption of the antioxidant itself how much of it are we actually absorbing these things we don't know we know how much antioxidants a plant has but we don't know all of those other factors and so we don't know how much we're getting from plants one of the things that we have to understand is that your body makes its own antioxidants and i want to talk to you about talk to you about one of those so uh superoxide dismutase is one of the antioxidants that's present in your vascular system so when you think of your vascular system and all of your veins and high blood pressure being able to lower your blood pressure it's going to be superoxide dismutase that is going to be able to lower the oxidative stress to be able to remove all of that reactive oxygen species ROS damage uh, from your vascular system so superoxide dismutase is an endogenous uh, antioxidant your body makes it on its own it's one of the most powerful antioxidants that 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 we've ever tested that that we ever know it's phenomenal and so better to support your body's production of its own antioxidants uh, so so stop worrying about so much about antioxidant uh, that that are in plants and worry about the antioxidants that you have and support those and that's exactly what hybrid cranberry bark does it gives your body what it needs to stimulate the production of superoxide dismutase so there's more of this flowing through your vascular system drawing out all of the oxidative stress and all of that damage uh, which is the driving force of chronic uh, hypertension bits uh, there, there's another really amazing thing that I want to talk to you about uh, uh, regarding uh, so you can remove the driving force of chronic hypertension, but you might still be left with some of the damages because what that reactive oxygen species does in your vascular system to cause hypertension is it causes inflammation. So you're going to need something that lowers that inflammation. Uh, and so um, without really getting lost in the weed, getting getting into the weeds too much here, I want to be able to show you something really, really amazing. So you have this, uh, um, you have this, it's called a transcription factor uh, called NRF2. NRF2 is a transcription factor uh, that's responsible for activating over 500 different genes. And those uh, uh, 500 different genes are turned off and uh, or are turned on by these molecules called sirtuins uh, through calorie restriction or through fasting or through high intensity interval training or through cold exposure all of these really incredibly uncomfortable things uh, but we've been finding lately that there are some natural components found in plants that help help upregulate the NRF2 transcription factor to create more sirtuins to turn on all of these different genes uh, all of these different genes you could think of these genes as like little programs little computer programs that your body has you know how your body has cancer cancer is a program that your body has diabetes is a program that your body has that your body can access when you're eating too much sugar or experiencing too much stress and so your body will turn on diabetes diabetes to help stay alive uh, uh, you have the on the other end too you have a whole bunch of programs that your body will help fix itself uh, uh, like one way that I think that I could articulate this really well is if you're sitting in a sauna uh, some of the amazing studies that are done on saunas saunas changes your genes and what it changes it's called a single nucleotide polymorphism a SNP uh, called FOXO3 and FOXO3 is a program that you have that when you go into a really hot place uh, when you go into a room that's 80 degrees Celsius and above for at least 20 minutes your body will grab that gene and turn it on and what that gene does is it creates these little things called heat shock proteins and heat shock proteins uh, have a really specific role a function they float around your entire body and their job is to fix other uh, proteins
or fix other molecules that have misfolded. And so you take uh, the structure of a plaque, like, like something that's causing heart attack, something that's causing cardiovascular disease, ha, uh, something like high cholesterol. Uh, what happens is uh, you get all of these cholesterol deposits going through your body. And when they misfold, when they start to look all funky and weird, uh, they they will have an affinity to other cholesterols and other uh other component other cholesterols that are all funky and weird and so they'll start binding to each other and then all of the cholesterols that have misfolded or damaged proteins on the surface are going to be all collecting together to form this plaque deposit and then you're going to be having heart attacks because this plaque deposit cholesterol deposit is so huge it's going to be blocking your uh your arteries and then you're going to have strokes and heart attacks and all of this stuff right and cardiovascular disease and yada 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 but uh if you go into a hot room uh that's 80 degrees or hotter for 20 minutes or more you're going to turn on that program foxo3 that's going to create these heat shock proteins that go throughout your whole body and fix them and when it fixes those misfolded damaged cholesterols into normal ones they keep going and doing their normal thing because cholesterol is not bad it plays a role and, and when it's healthy it loses it, its adhesion to that that whole plaque and continues to float around your body and do what it's supposed to do and that heat shock protein is going to fix all of the all of the cholesterols in that make up that deposit and free them uh and so you have no more heart this is this is why uh one of the studies a couple of years ago was able to show that sitting in a 80 degrees a room that's 80 degrees celsius or more for uh 20 minutes or more uh at least four days a week uh so going in the sauna four days a week or more uh, is able to reduce your chances of a heart attack by almost 70 percent 67 percent when we're treating our body like garbage it's going to activate all of those programs that we call diseases that for the most part are just survival mechanisms what our body does to stay alive uh but the same thing when we treat our body good when we when we uh when we're taking part in all of these different cultural components like fasting and sweating and exercise long form endurance exercise and where our body is going to take different programs and turn them on and and those are the complete opposite of diseases those are going to be everything our body needs to be able to heal itself and to be operating the way that it should of course one of those cultural components that we need to be engaging with on a regular basis is the ingestion of uh phytochemicals of all of the nutrients that are inside of all of these different plants and uh certainly with uh cyanide and three glucoside the the primary anthocyanin in the primary anthocyanin inside of high bush cranberry is going to be able to activate a program that our body needs to lower inflammation in our vascular system to help remove all of the damage that that reactive oxygen species caused to uh, 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 and the hypertension that it caused and to be able to remove the damage that all of that has done so it fixes the cause and the damage that disease hypertension has caused however many years that you've had it uh that was a long rant 